Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, something that I feel like will come in the future, which is more PvE content. So the game is definitely focusing more on its Celestial Anomaly, which is going to be its new thing moving forward. And I think they're going to add on a lot to it. So the thing is, a lot of people are saying that it's a temporary event. That is not true at all. Celestial Anomaly is actually a, f a permanent content. It will stay in a game forever. But the only things that could change for the Celestial Anomaly is the rotation of the bosses. So for example, for the current season, it is the Withering Flame. And the next season, season one actually, the next season will actually be the first season. So this is actually like the trial season. That could change entirely. So we would have new bosses or we might have a new completely different, uh, like we wouldn't have phase one, phase two, maybe, right? We could have something completely different, uh, a brand new setup, so to speak. Anyway, for this video, I want to share a little bit more about what I think you guys should be doing right now, which is, of course, you already know, to stop farming Chronos. And the reason why I say stop farming Chronos is because I feel that APEP and Fafnir, they do drop more PvE-centered uh, equipment pieces. And by PvE-centered equipment pieces, I'm really referring to the Ocean set, the Astralis set, and the Avatar set. I mean, of course, you have the Fiery as well, but I feel like for the most part, in terms of maybe focusing more on the current content that they're going to be churning out in the near future, it is going to be extremely important that you focus more on all of these PvE sets and not so much on the win set, not so much about, about the, the war set and all that. Those are stat-based sets, but you want to be focused more on effect-based sets. So for example, for the Chimera, right, in like maybe like the first week or so, there were players who hit 50 million without needing too much investment. Okay, was it the first week? No, maybe like the second week. Without needing too much investment into advanced strategy over here. But right now, with the advanced strategy, I'm able to hit 50 million very comfortably. And the reason why you're gonna do so is, of course, to get the EX++. Now, I'm not saying that by farming APEP and Fafnir, you're going to automatically get EX++. But I'm suggesting that it's going to be a lot easier because you know you have the opportunity to take extra turns in your astral set or have a 35% chance to reduce your cooldowns on the ocean set. It's going to help you, it's going to impact you a lot. So I made that mistake because if you take a look at my team, right? My Mateo, he's currently on the wall set. He is on the avatar, which is great. Uh, Ahmed's on the wind set, which he should be on the astral set in my opinion. Yunchuan, he probably should be on the ocean set for more skill cooldown rotation. And Elaine, she's okay, she's on the ocean set. And my Shen Pin is also built wrongly. She's on the ocean set, but she should be on the astral set. But of course, most of you guys will not have Shen Pin. But let's say if you're using Yude or you're using Alice, for example, they both work really well with the astral set regardless. So if you have those Espers, that's going to be like the ideal set for them. So from my understanding, a lot of like the, I would say, mid to end game players, they are currently stuck at like the 40 million or like 30 plus million score right now. So I think the main way for you to really push your stats to the next level is to just give your Espers a lot of really good Ocean and Astro sets, including your DPS Espers as well. So what we do understand is that for the Celestial Anomaly, for the next you know next few weeks, or even like the, perpet the perpetuality of the game, right? There's going to be new PvE content every single update, every single one of these updates, which means you will need to have really strong PvE equipment pieces, which is your Ocean set and your Astro set. So in less than two weeks, we will be having the Scorch Messenger, and then afterwards, we will have the Void Messenger in another three weeks afterwards. And of course, aside from this, we are also getting a lot of trial events. So right now, we have the Mateo trial, and this is another testament to how important it is for you to have the Astro set on some of your Espers. And like, as you can see over here, I do not have a lot of Astro sets. I have a lot of Wind and Wall sets because I've just been farming a lot of Chronos, but that is probably not going to be the best way for you to get higher scores in all of these content. So now that it seems that they are pushing more PvE and less PvP content, I don't really think that farming Chronos is as important as it used to be. I mean, of course, if you are still in the early game, then yes, farming Chronos is still the way to go. But right now, what I've been doing is I've just been farming APEC for like the longest period of time. I've been farming it for like the past four months. And I think I should start farming a little bit of Fafnir as well so that I can get more Astral Set. And of course, at the same time, right, if you're doing your Sentinel hunts and all that, if you get your boss clearing reward, try to focus more on the Ocean and the Astral Sets as well. Those are extremely helpful and that would definitely jumpstart your account a lot better for all of these PV content. But anyway, if you need more information on APEP and Fafnir teams, I always have other resources in my channel. So go ahead and check out those videos. I'll actually just like pin it at the top as well. So that's a little bit easier for you to assess it. Oh, and one more quick tip for you guys. So if you have some pure essences right now, it's a good idea for you to save it by, you know, like by doing your dailies. Save this because this can be used as a substitute for one spring essence, a thermal essence, or an air essence, which means that you can get a better head start when the soaring goat comes around. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.